All right, so we're just going to start off with a little introduction. Um, tell us who you are, your name, your affiliation with and to script. Yes, good afternoon. My name is Edward Andrews. I'm the founder and the executive director of Script. Script is a non-profit um, re-entry initiative program. What it stands for is Second Chance Re-entry Initiative Program. It's a trauma invention informed organization. Well, I'll go up from Brooklyn, New York, Brentwood Projects, you know. Um, my upcoming was, I guess, the regular from many of us who's living in the inner city or urban communities, you know, where there's a lot of negativity going on, you know. We was one of those redlining that they, you know, <laughs> they had redlined us out, whereas the health was poor, the poverty, the self-hatred. Me personally, I, I, I thought I was, I grew up between a rock and a hard spot, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my, my community was, you know, violence. And then my, in my household, you know, my father used to like, you know, abuse me, things like that, you know. But it's not like he abused me because he wanted to, it's just because he was suffering from his trauma, you know. And growing up, it just escalated, escalated. And, um, you know, I got shot twice on two different accidents. I got stabbed. Um, then my parents both was taken away the same year, like five months apart. So I'm, I, I was a wreck ready to happen in a minute, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's what happened in 1993. I was sentenced, I was facing 85 years in this Connecticut um, prison for, um, for murder. And that's where my intervention happened at, where I see what was the contributing factors. A lot of, and those contributing factors was, um, it, it caused a lot of my time inside of prison. But in prison was my spiritual awakening, was my rude awakening, whatever you want to call it. And I was on a mission from there. I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't trying to look at my brother from the left or the right side anymore as if they're my enemies. I, I came to know how to love myself, and that's how I love, love them. Anything that I see that when I came home, that I didn't have, I try to implement in the program so I could be a better, it could be a better fit for those. It could be teller for those who's coming home, or even those who don't even know they suffer from this trauma. You know what I'm saying? Like a SIN program. A SIN program is a program that we deal with, you know, evidence-based curriculum. And um, we, we get them an activity book. And then we got another program called Youth Rise. This population is from 18 to 24. It's really called, it's really it's like a prevention program. What do we do, right? Coming from prison for 22 years, I didn't know nothing about technology. When I went to prison, we had beepers. I mean, we was using beepers. You know, 911 to call me right away, you know, that. I don't know if you was, if you was around, but back then like that, you know what I'm saying? But this is what, some of the things that we use. So I was lost out here with that. And one thing I did, I said, I wanted, I was looking out for those who's coming behind me so they don't have to be lost also. So we do provide each individual with a tablet. It's free at charge. They keep it only if they complete, <laughs> they complete the program. Once we get you in, you know how to be that, that, that beacon for not only your family, but for your community. And then we get your job readiness. We are aligned with people like Vaveline, Yusuf Cleaning. Um, we have our own resources for job placements and housing stability. And then the last one is just the mentoring thing, is just the expert mentoring, whereas just because you graduate, I'm on your heels until like a, at least two years to make sure you, you, we good. But that's where the urban, male initiative come in at because we want to still see you at the round table, you know? And we're always gonna still be seeing our own clinicians 
to keep us behind the eight ball, in front of the eight ball. Because it's so much that systemic, these systemic challenges that is set for people just to fail. It's like I could be the poster boy for what we're doing. I met with Dr. Akbar. Dr. Akbar was one of the ones who patented her urban trauma. And when I got the nerve, that was the missing piece, that I was never got trained in prison with that, but know that that was my life, this all this trauma. It just, it's just something that's click. And so I said, you know what? This is what my population need. Not only my population, when guys coming home from prison, but now we we finding out that it's needed that for those in the community, because we suffering. This redlining, this social determinant, it's serious. And so I just I did discover my cousin had helped me with the name Second Chance Reentry Initiative Program, and um. I think that it's going to be around for, for a little while, you know, because this is what we do. Barely have we seen anybody fail if they know how to stick to the script.